Uh, local players in the Ghanaian oil and gas sector have also been advised to strategically position themselves in order to benefit from the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. According to Deputy Energy Minister Mohamed Amin Adam, collaborations and joint ventures among local companies will make them competitive for the market in the agreement. The agreement is expected to enlarge markets and diversify exports, particularly manufactured goods. According to the U.S.-based think tank, the Brookings Institute, intra-Africa trade stands at about 14% as compared to the higher trade among European countries, which is at 69%. It's expected that the Africa free trade area will boost trade across the continent by 52% by 2020. Deputy Energy Minister Mohamed Amin Adams is of the view Ghanaian companies can benefit from the agreement through strategic partnerships. A number of companies, for example, international oil companies have complained of difficulties in identifying indigenous Ghanaian companies with the financial wherewithal and good corporate governance structures to partner them in oil licenses. Government thinks otherwise because we believe that there are successful Ghanaians and Ghanaian enterprises who on their own or through consortia can take credible stake in oil licenses. He has assured industry players of increased investment in the sector to boost productivity. In furtherance of the objective of empowering indigenous Ghanaian companies to acquire production capabilities, there is a new proposal under discussion that where a new petroleum agreement is required for the production of marginal resources at the expiry of a petroleum agreement, it should be limited to indigenous Ghanaian companies to compete for it. The minister was speaking at the 2019 edition of the local content conference, an exhibition organized by the Petroleum Commission.